رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد الأمين نبي الأنبياء وخاتم المرسلين وعلى آله وصحابته والتابعين لهم بإحسان أم الدين سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم تابع الدرس الماضي من فاته فليرجع إليه من فاته فليرجع إليه وليراجع كما قلت المرة بعد المرة بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قد مضى درسان we have completed two classes one last week and one this morning uh, of the يومين اثنين اليوم اثنين اليوم اثنين اليوم اللي هنا المقدمة نعم آه نعم the introduction and the first part sorry today uh, so whoever missed those two classes inshallah go back and uh, review them go over them again وشروط الصوم أوجبه بالشهر وباحتلام يعني أن الشهر لا يجب صومه إلا بثبوته هذا واضح وكذلك بالبلوغ so what makes what are the conditions of Ramadan or fasting Ramadan be, uh, be, being obligated the conditions of it being obligated are that the month came in uh, according, according to the conditions mentioned before uh, the ways of establishing it that we mentioned before or by uh, and by reaching uh, puberty uh, those are the two conditions of uh, Ramadan being obligatory and the conditions of it being accepted the conditions of fasting being accepted or uh, of, of the the um, fasting being accepted is uh, n- uh, number one the sanity for a person to be in a sound mental state uh, and if a person begins the uh, uh, fast while they're not or the day begins while they're not in a, a sane mental state then uh, their fast does not count for them or let's say that they were uh, 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 or that their uh, mind was not present for most of the day um, uh, even if they were sane at the beginning of the day uh, so if somebody was if somebody was insane if they were drunk at the beginning of the day or a part of the day if they were anesthetized that they were knocked out intentionally, uh, 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 they, they were in a coma etc then they are uh, then their fasting um, no, is What's not uh, ليس, ليس is yeah. not is not uh, uh, correct sahab al aqli wa bil islam kadhalika yadhan yushtarat fi sahat al sawm al islam fal kafir ya sam la yuqbal minhu ay shay lan al shahadatayn shart al baqiyat min al islam and another condition of it being accepted is islam to be a muslim fal kuffar mukhatabun bil furu' so the disbelievers are held accountable for the the uh, right and wrong and halal and haram except that they are uh, not um, uh, the, the good deeds are not accepted from them without islam يعني عليه يوم القيامة وشرط القبول ذلك قال تعالى ما سلككم في سقرة قالوا لم نكن من المصلين ولم نكن نطعم المسكين وكنا نخوض مع الخائضين وكنا نكذب يوم الدين النتيجة أنه مخاطبنا بالفروع لا تصح منهم ولكن النتيجة لماذا نقول مخاطبنا لا تصح منهم هم عندما يدخلوا النار فسيعاقبون عقابا عقاب على ترك الإسلام وعلى ترك إضر الفروع المتعلقة به and the proof from the Quran that shows that the disbelievers are punished for doing wrong لا سلككم في سقر سؤال من الملائكة في أوساط جهنم but not هذا سؤال من الملائكة وهذا سؤال من ما هو السبب اللي يدخلكم في سقر؟ 
um, that uh, the, the proof that they are held accountable is that they would be asked while they're in hellfire they said that it will be asked what ended you in the hellfire what we would, we did not used to be among those who were praying uh, and we did not feed the uh, 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 the, the poor we did not uh, uh, we used to be idle and so so when they say we did not believe in the day of recompense but they are mentioning as part of the reason they're in hellfire those uh, uh, sins that they had done that shows that they are held accountable and we did not be used to be among the ones who prayed that means they are held accountable for the things that a person is held accountable for while it being that those deeds would not be accepted for them if they did them without the condition of Islam شرط صحة الصوم أن ينوي الإنسان الصوم قبل الفجر أن يكون في باله أنه سيصبح صائما قبل الفجر ولو قبله بثانويات. And another of the conditions of fasting is that the intention must be present before fajr in that uh, previous night في تلك الليلة. نعم ولو قبل الفجر بثانويات. Even if من غروب الشمس إلى طلوع الفجر. Even if it was before uh, Fajr by uh, a few minutes. It's, so it has to be between uh, uh, Maghrib uh, to sometime between Maghrib and between Fajr that they had <laughs> That they put in their mind. It's not the deep thinking and pondering that I'm going to be fasting tomorrow. It's just that they even briefly make the intention that they're fasting the next day. نعم ونية سابقة للفجر في كل صوم في كل صوم سواء كان نفلا أو واجبا لا بد أن تسبق نية الفجر تستسبق نية الفجر. And this applies to all fasting, not the fasting of Ramadan. يا كان لديك سؤال خلي حتى يكون في آخر الدرس قد تسمعه قد يمكن هذا. صوم وكيف فقط كامل كان عندك كل سؤالك خلي عندك. So then except the month of Ramadan is the exception in fact to this rule uh, th that uh, you don't need to renew the intention every night unless that fasting is cut off. So then if you had the intention uh, from the beginning of the month to fast the whole month and your fasting doesn't get cut off. Uh, you don't break your fast anytime in the middle. You don't have an excuse that you have to stop fasting. You're th then uh, then you don't need to renew the intention every single night. Automatically, the intention is there <laughs> only for the month of Ramadan. <laughs> but it is still preferred uh, to renew the intention every night. Mm. <laughs> This exception is not made just for Ramadan. This exception is for any fasting that requires uh, uh, multiple days of fast. Any, like if a person, for example, they, they committed a sin that they're making up for that sin by fasting and so on, that there's particular sins that the expiation <laughs> them, such okay. as the vihar, uh, then, then a person would be. Uh, obligated uh, wouldn't be obligated to uh, renew the fast. All of those things will be mentioned because this is a chapter of fasting, not just the chapter fasting. Let Imam Shafi'i and possibly others they say that that no every day, every single night the intention needs to be made independently. Uh, and the so regardless, uh, then in the uh, it is preferred to renew the intention every night, even in Ramadan, uh, because of this difference of opinion. No. 
And another uh, prerequisite or condition of the acceptance of fasting uh, is uh, to be pure from menstruation and postnatal uh, postpartum bleeding. So then uh, uh, for, to be pure from that before Fajr comes in. Uh, if Fajr comes in, uh, if uh, Fajr comes in, and then the woman, <laughs> even a few moments uh, later, uh, that, that uh, she becomes pure, uh, then still that day is not counted for her in fasting. Um, but in that case, she is able to eat and drink and so on, um, and make up the day later. قبل الفجر بعد الطهر وصح قبل الغسل قبل الغسل قبل الطهر صح الصوم إذا انتهى عن الحيض قبل الفجر ولو بدقيقة ولكن لم تغتسل إلا بعد الفجر لا علاقة له ما في حرج. So then if she uh, is uh, becomes pure before fajr by a few moments, then she must fast the next day. Uh, uh, even if she uh, regardless uh, her making ghusl or not making ghusl being in a pure state as in making ghusl like a, a, a state of, of, of purification from the uh, impurity the, the ritual impurity that is not a condition but the condition is not being in a state of menstruation or postpartum bleeding she, so if she makes ghusl after fajr that's fine she still must fast that day yes because the intention is there the prayer of a person entered into uh, maybe I wasn't clear enough in the translation I said that if she if the menstruation or the postpartum bleeding stops before Fajr then she must fast the next day. No, what? Ten we are in the Regardless of ghusl, ghusl being in a state of ghusl, wudu, whatever that has nothing to do with fasting, uh, as she makes the intention before, uh, after she becomes pure, and she fasts the next day. E uh, even if like if it was moments before fajr, she makes the intention. Then after fajr, uh, then during fajr time, she goes and makes her ghusl and everything. <laughs> even if she doesn't suffer Allah pray the whole day and she the next day she purifies herself, <laughs> still that fasting <laughs> is a different matter. When you say the next day, meaning the, the, the fast that's coming in. Yeah, the fast that's no. coming in. No. After that after day. Fajr. No. That, that day that, uh, you know. No. Uh, Sheikh, uh, هل يندب لها أن تترك الطعام والشراب؟ لا 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 So if a woman is menstruating or uh, bleeding, uh, postpartum bleeding uh, any time during the day, uh, or a person is coming back from traveling and so on, uh, the ruling for them, for in that case, is that it is that they can eat and drink for the rest of the day despite it being Ramadan, and it is not even preferred or recommended for them to break to, to fast for the remainder of the day. <laughs> So then uh, also uh, one of the conditions of the, uh, of the fasting being accepted is that the person does not uh, 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 take out uh, from their body uh, uh, sexual fluids either major or minor in the Maliki method in in Agmid astaghfirullah in the, this is both uh, can uh, cause the fasting to be broken whether it's the major uh, fluid which is the many uh, or the minor fluid that is just due to arousal uh, which is called medhi as for the Shafi'i and most of the scholars, they say that 
that uh, this is uh, the, the mevi, the minor uh, sexual fluid, the, the, the clear uh, prostatic fluid uh, 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 for men and the clear just uh, minor fluid. Uh, that is not, um, uh, yeah, the major fluid. The uh, that does not break the fast, according to uh, Imam Shafi'i and uh, the other scholars. the word إخراج meaning that intentionally uh, intentionally uh, causing the uh, uh, or engaging in an act that would cause that uh, fluid to come out. whether it's by touching whether it's by fantasizing whether it's by uh, whatever uh, that a person uh, <laughs> that whether that a person's intentionally constantly not not a thought passed by no but they're they're, they're intentionally uh, fantasizing then then uh, then this and this causes that to come out then it breaks the fast but if somebody for example is sleeping and then uh, uh, or, or somebody sleeping or or it comes out you know for uh, for just without his desire without his intention or due to some unusual reason that is intentionally uh, 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 doing so or something that is unusual then it's not uh, then it does not break his fast same goes for vomiting people misunderstand that vomiting any vomiting will break your fast notes ikhraj meaning intentionally bringing it taking it out so those fluids these are the fluids intentionally if you take them out they break the fast also uh, just the simple act of intercourse itself regardless of completion uh, is uh, it breaks the fast. So it's a completion, completion regardless of intercourse, intercourse regardless of completion, and um, and but if somebody for, if forgets that they're fasting and they have uh, that intercourse, then still. It still breaks their fast, but in that case of forgetfulness, they do not owe the expiation, which we'll mention what the kafara or expiation is. So if the person intentionally breaks his fast in any of these ways, or, or forgetfully breaks their fast by any of these means, then uh, they must continue, they must continue. Then they must abandon it once they realize or repent. So the uh, only difference between forgetfulness and intentionally doing those acts is that if, if a person forgets, they do not have to pay the expiation or do the expiation. No. So he mentions here the difference between forgetfulness and intentionality. Uh, as far as the Maliki uh, Madhab uh, uh, in this matter, as opposed to other than him, he says that that he says if, you, if somebody forgets uh, eating, drinking, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, involved in uh, sexual actions, etc., and then if it's in fard, then of course a person is forgetful, so he's not held accountable, he's not in sin, but he still must make up the day. So he understood that uh, that is he's not uh, it's not uh, 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 it's uh, uh, you know uh, uh, it's he's that he doesn't have to uh, he um, sorry he's not in sin and he doesn't have to do the kafara, 
but he still has to make up the day even though it was just forgetfulness. He finished the fast and yeah, then he, he still has to, to make up. He must finish the fast and must make up that day, but doesn't owe anything else. <laughs> كسبق مما استاك أو تمكانك واحد كان يستاك فأخطأ وسبق أو بينه أو المضبضة دخل في فمي من الشيء بدون قصد يشبع عن القضاء ولكن لا كفارة عنه so then, such as the person who is, who accidentally is is uh, using a miswak, not a flavored miswak, not toothpaste, that's something else, that's intentional. Uh, swallowing, you know you're going to swallow some of it, that's a different story. As far as if somebody is using a miswak, like a dry miswak, a normal miswak, that they shouldn't be swallowing anything from it, but then something breaks off and they swallow it. Or somebody's making wudu and they're making malmala, and then they accidentally swallow some of the water. Then in this case, that's considered unintentional. Their fasting is broken in the Maliki Madhab, but they only make up the day they don't pay the kafala since it was unintentional. So, so if somebody uh, breaks their fast uh, uh, um, uh, it, it, while they're doubting, uh, like in Maghrib, or somebody has uh, eats while they're doubting that Fajr came in or not, this breaks the fast. حتى إن لم يدخل الفجر. إذا تبين إنه لم يدخل الفجر معنا مشكلة. إذا تبين بعد ذلك. إذا تبين المغرب قد دخل. لكن هذا يسلم. So this is actually this is in the case of that they were doubtful and it turns out that. لكن لم يتبين له بعد ذلك الصواب. نعم. That if it turns out that it was Fajr while they were eating, then that's considered like the forgetful one. Uh, but if it turns out that it wasn't Fajr while they were eating, then then their fasting still would count. Same goes for Maghrib as well. And unfortunately, uh, uh, ignorance is worse. Than <laughs> ignorance is worse than worse than doubt, uh, because the person. <laughs> because look over here, he's mentioning doubt under forgetfulness. <laughs> the person knows when the prayer enters and knows when it leaves, knows when Maghrib enters, knows how. But then they're doubtful: did it enter? Did it not? And then they're eating and then they see it. That's called doubt. So doubt falls under forgetfulness. As far as ignorance, it may appear similar, but it's not. Ignorance falls under intentional breaking of it. In regard to the fault, in, in this case, uh, and in some other cases, uh, doubt, is the same as forgetfulness in other cases, uh, but in the cases of, uh, of uh, ignorance, ignorance is counted as intentionally disregarding uh, any fault. So if somebody was ignorant of the prayer time and then they ate, and then it turned, somebody tells him, Oh, look, this the prayer time came and you don't see it because he was ignorant, that's not an excuse, and he will be counted like he intentionally broke his fast. Because if somebody is uh, eating or breaking their fast and following they oh, didn't see the sign by themselves, they're following some calculation, they're following something, who can, are you allowed to copy in Islam? You must copy a trustworthy uh, a source that knows the Islamic rulings and regulations. وجاز في الصيام والصلاة تقليد عدل عالي في الأوقات. so it needs to be an upright person number one and a knowledgeable. لكن أين العدل؟ ابحثوا لنا عن العدل. 
uh, but look for upright people nowadays. And look at the, for the people who are properly implementing the rulings. Even if they have more knowledge of the shaytan. There's no benefit in that. Shaytan. There's no benefit in such knowledge from a shaytan of the human being. There is no uh, following of the opinion or the of any scholar uh, if they are not known for righteousness and piety and uh, knowledge. Um, even if they are very extremely knowledgeable, still they must be implementing the knowledge. Even if he can explain the whole Quran according to 20 and, and recite it in 20 different uh, uh, narrations, still. Even if he's able to explain every single hadith according to every single madhab. And, and became a scholar in the four madhabs. Memorized. And memorize the. Want to mustahil ali kum tahfou sawmik. Ola ma kum mustahil ali yahfou fasla min al fasul. Taala ma anta taala. Want to summon ali mustahil ali yahfou fasla min al fasul. The people that you're calling uh, scholars, they, they do not even memorize. They cannot even memorize. It's impossible for them. They don't have the ability to memorize one chapter of Quran. Ola yahfou na juzam min al Quran. And they do not properly memorize one juz of the Quran properly. Mustahil. هذا شيء من المستحيل. appears impossible. لا يحفظون جزء من علماء. a scholar who doesn't memorize properly cannot recite properly one juz of the Quran. how is it a scholar? the people that you are with. That you are with them and you told me you were with them, scholars or uh, muftis who do not uh, are not able to properly recite lunges of the Quran. You know them. تو تو بهؤلاء المفتون والله كل يوم بعد يوم اكره المفتين وكل يوم بعد يوم اكره علماءكم ما ادراكم على النار ترجم I swear day after day I, I increase in my uh, uh, despising of your muftis and your uh, so called uh, scholars ما ادراكم على النار how bold are they towards the fire? Wallahi inna maqa'idakum bi jahannam jahizatu. Wallahi alladhi la ilaha illa huwa. I swear by Allah, your positions, your places in hellfire are prepared. Man kadhaba alayya muta'amidan fal yatabawwa maqa'adahu min al-nar. Whoever lies about me intentionally, then he should await his place of honor. Hadith Bukhari wa Muslim, rawahu akthar min sittina. Wa qad rawah hadith wa man kadhaba akthar min sittina min man sahibah. There are more than 60 companions who narrated this hadith. One of the most authenticated hadiths. More than 60 of the companions narrated this. Whoever lies about me in Then let him await his place in hellfire. You're saying you're a mufti or alim or whatever. And you're lying about the Prophet sallallahu The scholars are the heirs of the Prophet, so how could a scholar be one who does not properly memorize one chapter of the Quran and does not memorize hadiths? Even if it's a fiqh class, even if it's a seerah class, subhanAllah, uh, uh, it, it shows my reasons for my uh, anger with these people.
او ابتلاع البلغمي المغلوبي هذا غير مشهور قالوا ان من ابتلع البلغمه انه يفطر عمدا ولكن مشهور انه مكروه. So he says also the one who swallows the saliva after it wells up in plentiful amounts or in the mouth. So this is he mentions here as if it is something that breaks the fast, while the mashhur is in fact that it is just disliked to swallow that saliva. ولا قضى بغالب من مذي أو قيء هو اللي كنت أسأل عنه. أو بالغم أو مني قال لا قضى في غالب وخرج غالبة غالبة من 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 مدين أو قيء إذا لم يبتلعه وكذلك المني إذا خرج غالبة بدون هذا شيء. So and there is no makeup of the fast necessary if it was beyond a person a person uncontrollably came out of them. Either and not due to actions of their own that led up to it, uncontrollably came out of them, medhi, which is prostatic fluid, or seminal fluid, or or vomit. Of course, for vomit, so long as they didn't swallow any of it intentionally after it reached their their mouth. Intentionally or intentionally, unintentionally. أو من بلغم كذلك البلغم يبتلع أو from saliva or أو مني أو from يعني حتى هذا الخل نعم نعم أو what's it called mucus or if that intentionally swallowed or if somebody out of their control and not through any action of their own they release major sexual fluid. When I say that, I mean for men and women. That's why I don't use the male term. Many refers to both the male and female or major fluid. But men and women both have the same word that is used. بدون اختيار دخل غلبة فلا شيء فيه أو غبار الطريق لا تحفظ منه من يمشي في البوادي أو في المدن المتلوثة يمشي في غبار وهو يحاول ولكن أحيانا يستشق الغبار بدون قصم أو الذباب يدخل في فمه بدون قصم ويبتلعه فلا حرج في ذلك لا شيء فيه. So this is called the غلبة which means that one is overcome بدون اختيار overwhelmed it's not intentional and it's not forgetful it's just something that they're unable to stop. Uh, and uh, 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 when it happens in regard to medhi or vomit or uh, snot or whatever or uh, many or uh, a fly, a person, uh, a fly just jumps into his mouth, flies into his mouth uh, and he's unable to, uh, to, to, uh, to take it out uh, or a, a dust, you know, he's covering his mouth as he's passing dust to prevent it but then still dust enters his mouth. Or a gypsy, صانع الاسمنت هذا مع التحفظ. Or somebody who's making like plaster, dealing with the powder, adding water to it, and so on. Or flour, for example. Same thing, excuse me. And some of it, the dust, it's in the dust everywhere. It's in the the the. There's like clouds of it, and a person is gonna swallow it, and they're unable to stop that. Then, then. مع التحفظ شيء. مع التحفظ. حتى الدقيق. نعم. Uh, so, but they have to take some precaution to prevent uh, swallowing it. But if they take the precaution, still they're going to swallow. That's forgiven. And there are five things that are intentionally done. Then the kafara, the expiation, must be done. كم الواحد سيب سنبين التوين إلا لي إلا لي معنى يعتمد عليه هو ليس ليس حقائق عذر ولكن سنبينه. Except if they misunderstood. سنبينه ذلك سنبينه ذلك. Explain the misunderstanding that 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 may remove the the. إلا لي عذر إلا لي عذر يصرف عن ذلك وسنبينه. What we're going to explain إن شاء الله. في رمضان هذا خاصة في رمضان. Especially in Ramadan. Ramadan is where the kafara applies, 
the expiation applies. So, if, so I forgot to mention that in the case of somebody forgetfully breaking their fast, and it's not Ramadan, they don't have to make up that day. Only for Ramadan do they have to make up the day if they unintentionally um, or forgetfully broke their fast. So if it was outside Ramadan, they don't have to. So then he says also uh, the kafara, of course, anything that has to do with expiation, you already know it's in regard to the expiation of the sin of intentionally breaking the fast. Say you say you So understand what the kafara means. Know the word kafara, uh, expiation, kafara. في رمضان قط باختياري ليس غلبة ليس مكرها ولا شيء ولا مريضة لا. and this is a kafara only applies in Ramadan. بدون نسيان وباختياري. only intentionally. أما الإكراه واحد مكرى على ذلك ما في حق ما في حق. somebody is forced if somebody forgets if somebody whatever it's intentionally out of free choice. in fact. باختياري فرب عنية بالنهار ترك أفضلية بالنهار. Uh, so the, the, the number one, the first thing that requires expiation, if done freely out of free choice in the Ramadan, is to intend not to fast during the day. To intend that I'm not going to fast today. Or eating, or drinking, all intentionally. ليس خطا not uh, accidentally no او من جماعا or او مني القصد or او من جماع او مني القصد or from intercourse or from intentional release of many major sexual fluid these five things وهي على التخير and the expiation is done. What does a person do to expiate the sin of doing these five things intentionally by free choice? They have uh, some choices of how they expiate. <laughs> so for each day, they can. The, the choice number one is for each day that they broke their fast intentionally, they feed sixty poor people. كل مد بمد النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. 64 people one uh, mud uh, which is based on أو صوم شهرين عن كل يوم متواليين. He fasts uh, two months. متتابعين. Two uh, consecutive months. Meaning 60 days or two months consecutively, like without breaking one day in between. For each day, he broke his fasting. Is it 60 days or two months? Because what if two months are 29, 29? So if somebody begins those, it's standard is 60 days. But if somebody wants to do it two months and they start at the first of a new month and they fast for that month and the next month, then that counts as two months, even if it doesn't end up being sixty days. So you can you have to fast two months straight, or you can split it. it must be straight. Straight. Okay. So it has to be from the beginning. You can't just in the fifteenth say, "Oh, you know, I'm fasting." Yeah. So then, so then, if there's any whatever full month that you fast, you can, you can discount the the uh, the days that it was not um, that that that, that it, it came short of thirty. So, uh, so if you fa start fasting on the fifteenth, that that uh, uh, no. 
So that one you have to fast 30 days. So, so, if, uh, so then if you are um, fasting uh, 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 60 days and you start in the 15th, then you, you fast, in, you, that one you count 15, it doesn't matter how many days. Then the next month, um, uh, so that, day, that month you have to count for 30 days. So then the next month if it turns out to be 29, then, I, no, then, 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 then you count it as um, you count it as Shara. a full month, and then you're going to fast now whatever remainder from thirty is from the first month uh, uh, to, to uh, make that up in the next month, and that's it. But just to be clear, you can't do like Safa and then wait until Shaban to do the second one. You have to do it like Muharram and Safa. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Does that make sense? Yeah, so 15 days and then the new month starts, you fast a new month and then whatever was whatever was left over you, you, from, the you, from, the from the first month. month from the first month you, know, you, you make it up. fast in the first month, okay? Yeah. 13. Well, now you have to do 20, 17. 17. Mm. Uh, you 5 25. Yeah. <laughs> The third choice for kafara or expiation of broken fast, intentionally broken out of free choice, is freeing a slave, a, a healthy a slave that is a believer. If somebody just lazily due to no legitimate excuse uh, missed some uh, 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 such as a woman who is on uh, uh, menstruating during part of Ramadan she had maybe 10 days 7 days whatever to make up and she made up maybe 5 of them 2 of them are left over when the next Ramadan comes she still hadn't made them over and just due to neglect then for each day that remains left over of the previous Ramadan's uh, fast, then the next Ramadan uh, enters, and the next Ramadan enters uh, without uh, forgetfulness, without any excuse. Then each day, uh, uh, the person and the individual owes one when, when they come to Ramadan. So it should be done ideally, but it's acceptable otherwise to for them to pay this beforehand. But they pay it with the, they make up that day, of course, after Ramadan, and they pay for each day one uh, one mud of food. That's one more hurt, one person. One person, one mud of food per uh, per day. Less. So if they don't make up the fast before Ramadan. Ramadan comes in, then the order. So then uh, the person needs to make up the days, of course. If, if somebody missed a few days on Ramadan, they excuse me, they were sick or whatever. And then during that year, 
they made up some of the days or they made up none of the days, but they owed some days still from the previous Ramadan that they still haven't made up when the next Ramadan came in. Then they owe for each day that is left over that they have not made up of the previous Ramadan one mud uh, of uh, food to the poor for each day. Well, what about if you have like consecutive years? That's what I asked. Oh, okay. So I asked, what if you had consecutive years? That's why I worded it in a way that that question should not be asked. Because I said, of the previous year. I know, but what about the previous years? I didn't say of the previous years. Yeah. I said of the previous one year. So if you have several years that this happens, yeah. then... then. No. No. So it, it doesn't, and so if several years pass, it doesn't add to it again. It's only when Ramadan starts, any owed date from the previous year, now you owe one month. So for three years, somebody didn't fast, and each day of Ramadan was 30 days, then how many days, do, how many months do they need to pay? 90. 90, that's it. No, you don't need to fast those days. You, you need to fast those days. Oh, okay. So I said, you make pay them, pay the mud, ideally when you're making up the day. Oh, I see. Okay. But you can pay the rent. Okay. <laughs> لم يكتفي الصغير بالطعام ولم تجد شخص اخر شخص اخر يرضعه لها وتضر بهذه الالبان. نعم سامحني انا المثال كان سيء سامحني شيء. تفضل. The example was bad because it implies that you know if a person was sick the whole Ramadan and then they got better then they owe those days so 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 if a person it was five days from one, ten days from the other, fifteen days from the other that they were sick or they were unable to fast. Days that they were excused for. We're talking about days the person is excused for. Unexcused, the kafara, we've mentioned the kafara, but uh, this is um, in regard to the days that a person is excused, but they need to make up. That they just neglected making up those days. Not that they were willfully breaking their fast. <laughs> so as far as the pregnant woman so as far as the, the woman who's pregnant she doesn't uh, uh, who fears any type of harm for herself or for her child then in the Maliki Madhab she does not have to fast and she doesn't have to make up the day and she doesn't have to pay anything <laughs> so she must not make a kafara or she doesn't must not I was like actually it has to be repeated twice <laughs> <three> <laughs> <times>. <laughs> uh, so, so the, the, the common case of this would be the, for, for a woman who's uh, pregnant that she did not fast. She did not fast any of the days of Ramadan. Uh, that she was pregnant. Um, so in that case, she doesn't pay anything. She just has to make up the day later on. Um, or, but she doesn't have to pay anything. She doesn't have to. Uh, uh, so, so he, he, he uh, so for, as far as that pregnant uh, woman, she she doesn't owe anything. If she needed to break her fast, she just needs to make up the day. Uh, 
as far as the woman who's breastfeeding, there's two types of women who are breastfeeding. There's the woman who's breastfeeding uh, who break their fast. There's the woman who's breastfeeding who breaks her fast because of her own fear of health issues for herself. <laughs> and in this case, because it's in regard to herself, she is, uh, she is um, uh, uh, excused from paying anything. She just has to make up the day when she is able. <laughs> just like, she's just like the pregnant woman. Um, the pregnant, uh, but the difference between the pregnant woman and the breastfeeding woman is that now that the baby is born, if the fear of the uh, breastfeeding woman is for the child, if she was pregnant, if she, her fear is for the child, the child is still a part of her. The child is still a part of her, so she doesn't have to pay anything, she just makes up the date. So if she's breastfeeding of the fear is for herself, that's herself. She's like a sick person, she just makes up the date, doesn't have to pay anything. But if she's breastfeeding and she's healthy herself, she's not fearful of anything in regard to herself, but she's fearful in regard to the baby. And she doesn't have any alternatives to feed the baby, uh, meaning that she doesn't have anybody to breastfeed the baby, because breastfeeding is still the 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 the, the thing. Of, no, uh, no. Or that there will be a harm due to giving them the 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 formula or whatever food that they feed. Or that that uh, or the, the the that will not suffice them or her. Milk will maybe not suffice the child if the fear is in regard to the child, and and the person needs to break their fast. Then then she would owe by default to make up the days, and and she needs to pay uh, a mud of food for every day that she broke her fast. So then, if this, so in this case, in this case, let's say she, uh, you know, half of Ramadan she broke her fast for fear for the child, so she owes fifteen days. Then she's lazy with ten of them until the next Ramadan. For those ten days, for the five days that she made up, she still needs to pay one mud. For the 10 days that she did not make up lazily until the next Ramadan, if she didn't have an excuse, she owes the, the one day, uh, one wood for for the for for breaking the fast, and she owes another mud for delaying, uh, delaying unnecessarily the makeup. Does she breastfeed? No. And no, some women break their fast to breastfeed because they need the energy they need. So if it's in regard to fear for one's own health, that they're fasting, that they're like, if I fast while I'm breastfeeding, I'm going to die, you know, then, or I'm going to be sick. But if the fear is for the child, you know, yeah. 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 Uh, and uh, so then uh, the woman who is uh, uh, he's giving a detail on when a woman who's breastfeeding is, uh, can break her fast for the sake of her child is if she doesn't have uh, uh, if she doesn't have like the money to to buy other food that is healthy for the baby that the baby can eat or uh, or uh, drink or whatever or to, uh, 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 to pay some a woman to breastfeed the child that work needs or even if the child is not going to drink from anybody else, then, then, then she can break her fast, but then she owes still. Uh, 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 then she still owes that, uh, that, uh, that, um, uh, that the mud per day that she breaks her fast, by default, even if she make, breaks it, uh, makes it up right away. And now he mentions an opinion that is a weak opinion that do not take this in the Maliki Madhab, but it is an opinion that exists, uh, that a pregnant woman who fears for her child uh, still must make up the, uh, uh, yeah, the day day and pay. No, actually the strong opinion is that she does not pay if the fear is for the child and she's pregnant. ويستحب فدية للهرم أو عطش كلاهما لم يصم 
هذا الهري معناه ضعيف البنية شخص ضعيف البنية لا يقدر على الصوم ككبير في السن أو واحد عطش وصحته جيدة ولكن لا يقدر على إثمان الصوم بشدة العطش الطبيعي هذا لا يجب عليه الصوم ولكن يجب له أن يعطي الفدية عن كل يوم مد واحد الهري معناه ضعيف صار كبير Uh, and so then, uh, and it is not obligatory, but it is recommended to pay that fidya uh, to feed one amud for each day uh, for a uh, for thee. So it is, it is recommended for a thee. Uh, uh, for the frail person, generally the word refers to an old person who is frail and unable to fast. Uh, it, it doesn't mean the person is sick; it means that the person is frail, that they're uh, that they're that they're weak in their body, they're unable to handle fasting. Then it is not preferred for them. Then it is preferred for them to, uh, of course, they don't fast, but it's preferred for them to pay the fidya. Also, for the person who is. The, the person who his nature is extremely thirsty, that he will become dehydrated very fast. He has some issue where he becomes dehydrated too fast and he's unable to fast. Um, but neither of them, in either of these cases, the person should fast, but it is preferred for them to pay uh, the fidya for each day, one mud of food. نعم هاي المندوبات كذلك التعجيل ايش ايش اسمه كذلك التعجيل للفطور يندب ان يعجل الفطور بعد ان يتاكد من دخول الليل اذا كان شخص يعني شغله يعني يعني هو عطش بسبب الشغل يعني ياخذ كل يوم من الصوم فاذا لم يقدر عليه فيبقى تميل النبي So the person as for the person who has work that is unavoidable work that they need to do and they and they may not be able to fast and they cannot last the whole day of fasting then that person should fast for as long as they're able to fast and once it comes to the point that really they're going to hurt themselves if they continue fasting then they break their fast and their ruling is like the same ruling as of the sick person <laughs> Now, uh, and it is also recommended. Now he's listing the recommended things. Also, it is recommended to uh, to break your fast quickly as soon as you are sure that Maghrib came in. Uh, and, uh, and also to delay the suhoor that you uh, with a certainty that a, a part of the night remains that you're sure that Fajr is not in yet uh, they're saying it's about uh, uh, 20 minutes before Fajr comes in that's the ideal time for somebody to make their suhoor before the real Fajr time comes in that subhanallah unfortunately due to people's ignorance of the Maghrib times and the Fajr times which are generally mostly wrong of course Dhuhr time as well in regard to fasting though Maghrib time and Fajr time then what times he mentioned over here uh, 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 most uh, apps 99% of apps the default settings here at least here in California they are incorrect so Maghrib comes in uh, a little bit too early uh, so people break their fast before the time, uh, trying to follow the hadith of and this recommended action of breaking their fast as soon as possible. But they're not certain they're following the app. The app is not halal to follow uh, 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 on certainty. Uh, and then in regard to the Fajr time, they're following the app as well. The default setting, even though the app has many different settings you can choose from for Fajr, 
they don't care over here, they don't even bother investigating what the time is in their area, and they keep eating until the federal time comes in on their app, and unfortunately for about maybe 15 minutes or a little bit more, uh, the time, uh, maybe maximum like 17 minutes, at the time uh, uh, Fajr has already come in before the app told them. So then they're saying, oh, I'm delaying my Sukhoda until the last 20 minutes. Well, you're actually, you're eating 20 minutes into the daytime. <laughs> so now that you know, you, know, you understand what is meant when uh, uh, it is said that people are fast, uh, competing to fast, and competing to, to break their fast, and they're neither fasting nor breaking any fast that doesn't exist, and then what is the case of their prayer and their purification and their tarawih and all of it? <laughs> the actions are invalid. If, if you, if once you learn, you'll see that, oh, well, the tarawih was invalid. And, oh, I shouldn't have been praying tarawih at the time. And, oh, my fasting was invalid. And, oh, this was because people didn't even bother to learn before. <laughs> People uh, exhausting themselves <laughs> worship, but actually their worship is a major sin. <laughs> Torturing themselves and, and, and what is being written in their book of deeds is major sins. Allah Ta'ala يقول قل هل نبيكم بالأخسرين أعمالا الذين ضل سعيهم بالحياة الدنيا وهم يحسبون أنهم يحسنون صنعا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says say should I inform you of these of the ones who their actions are the, the greatest losers, the ones of the greatest loss, those who their uh, uh, strivings in this world are misguided while they think that they are doing excellent deeds. <laughs> they think they are the closest people to Allah while they are the farthest. <laughs> And they keep mentioning this hadith, oh, for the one who is fasting, it's two moments of rejoicing. When you say, no, it's not. They have two sins in reality. And that he's making a flaw before the time. SubhanAllah, the whole day he is poor, miskin, fasting. And, and in pain from hunger and thirst, and then he breaks his fast a couple minutes early. And the wife is tortured by the heat of the kitchen and the smoke and the steam in her face the whole day, and then she is torturing herself with the hunger and thirst, and she's cooking for people who aren't fasting, and she breaks her fast early. Mm -hmm. And from all of the, the steam that's entering her mouth, unguarded and for, without taking any means to stop it from going in her throat, she also breaks her fast unknowingly. And she thinks she's fasting and she thinks she's I'm cooking a flaw for the people who are fasting. Good woman, sister, my wife, you best wife. My wife, best wife, she cooked for all the world, I go for this worst wife, you know. Worst wife you do, worst husband. If you go back to me, you shape up. You're not husband, you stupid in a stupid son and answer. You are not man. You stupid. Or you man not man. I tell him English. And you are Rijal or less to Rijal. I hate this. I don't know how to do it. Has it told you that you have a message from the Fajr? Yes, sure. I'm very sad. It's very sad. It's very sad. When I talk, people believe I'm a scream man, I'm a very bad man, I'm worse than everyone. But what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Tell me. If 
انا اقول لكم والله الذي لا اله الا هو انسان عاقل انا مسلم ما مات غضبا للمسلمين هو بليد so i'm telling you when you see me upset like this i'll tell you the reality is if you, i'm not upset if a person knows these things and is seeing people uh, is so sad over seeing people messing up their fasting and messing up their prayer and worship and everything and so confused and lost and if a person knows this and is not dying of, of anger and sadness then this person is a fool this person is a criminal this is a betrayal of for the Muslims Imam Malik said it has reached me that the scholars when the, uh, Imam Malik says that this has reached me he means that this is uh, authentic this is a hadith that he says that it has reached me that the scholars will be asked like the prophets are asked did you uh, 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 deliver the message to your people did you deliver the da'wah did you call to uh, the people correctly did you lie the day gathers the messengers and, uh, and says how were you responded to Everybody who can wear a turban says, I'm a sheikh and a mufti. But you will be asked. About your ignorance and about your, your claims. People who are encouraging each other towards doing and anybody who tries to correct them oh no that person is deviant and that person is far from the that person has bad manners oh they, they don't care about the Muslims look how they are towards the Muslim <laughs> Thank you.